don't laugh. Just wish me luck. <laughs> How did I miss that? Washed. Not washed. Oh, Anna could have fired me tractor up for me, couldn't you? Got the next best thing. Hang on a minute. Give me a second. Nothing to see here, people. Move along. Yeah, I'm kind of running around like headed mongoose at the moment. Hello. Hopefully she gets on okay. Fingers crossed and now look at it. But we get by. A lovely mood. Come on, say it with me. You know what you want to. Molly, Molly. Nice to turn that way. No one will ever know. Where there's a hole, there's always a mole. Good morning, Fenlanders. How are we doing? I'm Daniel. Welcome to Fenland Farming Adventures. Grease Nibble is our new nickname, apparently. So uh, we're still looking for a nickname for Anna. Anna is now going to go get on the 170 and go uh, the cultivator and go try and pull her hole around out the field, out the side of the yard. Don't laugh. I've been drilling Skyfall. It's now April. Will it work? Won't it work? Stick around to see if it will. Um, I have no idea if it'll grow, if it'll yield, if it'll do anything, but I just stuck it in real heavy, 300 kilos a hectare, and we're just trying it. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> Somebody did say, oh, I put Skyfall in, in my, at the end of March last year and got two ton an acre. If we get it, we get it. If we don't, I've got the straw out of it. Somebody did say that straw was worth 150 pound a ton at the moment, so that is an excessive amount of money. I've just been out on a sprayer and put a dollop of manganese and magnesium on. As you can see by the weather around me, it is one, now two windy to go spraying. It's not too bad in the yard here, but fairly sheltered, but I, we just walked out the front of the house and then he blew my hat off. So I'm going to give up. I gave up with the sprayer now. Totally run out of motivation. Uh, my mojo for filming went. I don't know where it's gone, but I'll find it. I didn't even have too much Guinness this weekend. So I've had a great weekend. I uh, hope you all had a great weekend. I've got loads of stuff in the uh, Brown & Co auction that's finishing today, so just going to keep an eye on that for a couple of hours. Some stuff's getting some bids, some not, so uh, watch this space. I shall start putting everything up for sale privately. Got two free drills, weight block, yeah, load of tyres and stuff I don't really need. Excuse me, I've just had dippy eggs on toast. But yeah, no, I'm managing to get through all the fields now with a sprayer. So. I've ordered two new tyres for this. These 710s will come off. It doesn't look like I washed that one the other day. How did I miss that? Washed. Not washed. So, they're coming tomorrow. I'll perhaps try and do one more load of spraying tomorrow morning before the wind gets up. I'll try and do another load of spraying tonight before uh, when the wind does drop, because normally it drops after tea. So Anna's got her 170 fired up. Grumpy Grandad went and done some rolling uh, the other day, and he done some filming. Uh, dust was blowing. Uh, absolutely ridiculous it is so you can't like uh, get a, a um, happy medium it's either soaking wet or it's dried out and dusty so the drill is still on the uh, 215 over there so we will get the last little bit drilled out of the side here I'll put another bag in and see what it comes to I don't hold my hopes for a lot of gold out of it but the straws worth more to me than anything else it's just crazy isn't it so Oh, Anna could have fired me tractor up for me, couldn't she? I am still in need to get to the John Deere dealers to um, get myself a thing in the put in there. Got the next best thing, a Yaris key. Seems to open it. So it's all go. Once I get finished with the drill, we will get the basilier. Hang on a minute. Give me a second. Nothing to see here, people. Move along. All right, that key's not working. Normally I just dope the key in, isn't it? Need two hands, don't I? Never make a, never make a good thief, would I? <laughs> much, much later. Well, looks like I'm going in the other door then, doesn't it? I'll carry a bag full of stuff. <laughs> Who'd have thought all this filming malarkey would be so much fun, eh? Did you see somebody's going to call you Grease Nibble now? Donkey monkey Grease Nibble. Oh, I'll just send you a video of Grumpy Grandad doing yeah, some rolling. Sure. So I will insert that here. Here we are with old faithful 6610 still going rolling in some wheat we drilled last week a little bit of dust coming up just right nice bit dusty out there look at that perfect any drier and i don't think it'll go on this field not falling up in front of the rolls that's done a lovely job perfect timing got some wetter fields back home i don't think we're going to get on them but some of the fields will get on and get rolling them when i get back a rest for the wicked. There we go. Right, better get back to the archers. Can't miss that. 
never know how to do the farming next week. Yeah, so if you haven't uh, subscribed already to our little channel, really appreciate it if you would. Anna wants to get to 10,000 this year, so go and get subscribed, it really helps us out. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Grumpy Granddad is that is uh, no longer no longer a Manapu. So that was the old Manitou bracket that we had on this. Everything's still on in the shed. Oh, I like Anna's painting. Loving it, loving it. That, oh. oh my God, Anna. Don't need to put that much thinners in the bucket. So, we now have a uh, usable new bucket. Uh, you might have seen this on a, another video. Let me turn all this crap off. Shut that up. Yeah, how many of you have got one of these? Like a bucket grab. Are they any good? How do you get on with them? So now, we, uh, now we've got the uh, brackets on. Grumpy Granddad and all his skilled way welding. He's still got it, he's still got it. He wasn't quite very happy with it. He changed the nozzle over on the welder and then he was a bit more happy. So we just got to put the pipes back together on that. Oh man, that needs pumping up. Yeah, we're kind of running around like headless mongoose at the moment. Just trying to get loads of stuff done. It's now too windy to spray, so can't get on with that, which I'd like to. Um, Grace Nibble's going off to just cultivate around the wet holes, the wet bits and stuff, and see how she gets on with that. Then she's going to come and swap with me. I don't know what we're going to do after that. Go on holiday. Yeah, it'd be nice if we can get the basilier and the planter on this week. I don't think that's going to quite happen because I've got loads of muck still to sort out. And then we've got some subsoiling to do on the spud fields. But nothing really can finish until I got that drilling done. I want to get that drilling wrapped up and that hole sorted out. And once I've done that, I've just managed to get through that hole beside the yard here. I managed to get through that with the sprayer. So I know it's drying out. We're not far off now, Fenlanders. We're not far off at all. Yeah, it's all go. Cheers, Fenlanders. Hi, guys. Hope you're okay. Sorry, I'm all... I know it's all red. So, hope you're all okay. Most of you guys know me. I'm Anna. Got my only farmer's hoodie on. Love it. I, uh, you know, when you're just like, you can't beat them, so just join them. So I'm a uh, part of the clan right now. So I am currently in the John Deere 6170R. I've got, I want to say it's like a cultivator on the back. Spiky things. Let's call them spiky things. Daniel has just given me instructions to go out on the field just beside the house and have a bit of a work around that wet patch. Man, I do not want to go out there. Like, not one little bit of me wants to go out there. I was kind of hoping I'd get to try the new Vader set today, but no. This is the bit just beside the house. He's drilled, you can see where he's drilled. He's drilled all around there. And it's like dusty. Like that bit is dusty. And then you can see the change in soil as you get like closer and closer to the uh, the wet patch. My hole as they keep calling it. Yeah, Daniel said just go around it, maybe get in another two or three turns round it. Just to try and just keep getting closer in and closer in. Right, so the 6170R doesn't have diff lock on the auto. So we actually have to do it manually. And obviously you can't really turn very well. You can't turn at all. You're not supposed to turn at all with diff lock on. So yeah, now we have diff lock on. Can you hear that? It's like struggling. You just can't get over like the difference in how the field is in comparison to like literally just there. Like I could literally almost jump to the bit where it's absolutely so different. Come on, little 6170. Okay, so I've managed to do quite a bit round this bit. Instead of going like right round, I know Daniel obviously wanted me to do that, but I thought that I was just gonna get stuck. So I've just tried to like clip the edge bit off uh, where it was just a little bit better, easier to go through. But this bit here and like all of that patch, can you see there's like a, like a, almost a triangle uh, I just tried. I did try to get kind of closer to it, but it just it just won't have in it. So I I know Daniel will probably go. You could have done more. You could have done more, uh, and, and I probably could. But I just I I'll do it if they were here to be like do this, do that, do this, do, you know, like show me, t tell me what to do. I know I'm doing what I'm doing with the drive control. I know what I'm doing with the diff lock, and I know what I'm doing with everything. But for me, I just don't feel experienced enough in knowing what the field is like. So. 
with them two coming out here, they're, they've obviously been on it. The 6170 has always just got this little cultivator on it. They've, they've been out here as much as they can. Luckily, it is just beside the house, so it's like not much fuel to get here to come and do it. More speed, less hate. So we're out here rolling Ben Landers and Jeez. also baby training day. Yeah. Put it forward then. Yeah, we're about right. 4.8, five, five, five and a half, four and a half, five and a half, something like that. Now you just got to watch what you're doing. So I'm just literally, do I do the middle track? No, just turn around on yourself and come back down. Right, so as you can see, it is picking up a little bit on the... Uh, yay, my handy dandy super spiral bottle. I nearly forgot that. You can see it's picking up a little bit on the... Picking up a little bit on the rolls, but nothing too major. There's no, not much wheat on them, so... Let me get back in the truck and I'll uh, explain. It's no different to making your lawn all stripey. You, look, you um, make your lawn all stripey with a roller, don't you? We make our wheat all stripey. Now, some people say, oh, why'd you bother doing that? It promotes growth and it also flattens the field down nicely. Gets rid of all the moles, which will probably evidently come back again, I should think, but we'll see how grease nibble gets on. Hopefully she gets on okay. Fingers crossed. But yeah, you can see I've managed to keep this field alive, which I'm happy about. It is all now starting to get nice green, new growth on it, shall we say, but look how yellow it is. But you can see all the yellow. This is what has happened because of lack of nutrients. Wet weather, lack of nutrients. And now look at it. Lovely and green. This field always suffers the worst. My black fields are terrible. You just can't pack them down hard enough to grow wheat. It is not wheat country at all. But we get by. I got a double chin when I look like that. <laughs> Too many uh, roast dinners at the weekend, which was lovely. Well pleased about that. We managed to keep all the field uh, field alive. And then hopefully one day it will look lovely and lush like that. We'll go and check out the hole at the farm and see how that looks and see if I think I can get through there with the drill a bit better today. Right, Anna's just been out here. I've drilled some of this out here, Fernandez. <laughs> How it will look. But obviously, I went over them bits over there with the uh, Vertistat carrier. Ooh. Sorry about the wind. But yeah, Anna's just been over here. I drilled this. I don't know what it would come like because it's way too cloddy for us. Not enough tilth. I don't really know what she's been doing here and why she'd been turning around. <sighs> Yeah, you can see how lumpy and cloddy it is. Well, she started struggling there, so she's packed up, but I don't know if she's gone all the way over there. I hope she has. Yeah, we'll just keep eating our way into it. I think what I'll end up doing is putting some uh, wild bird mix in there. I'm going to go and see if I can catch a mole. Bloody mole in the garden, so mole. Come on, say it with me. You know you want to. Molly, molly. I'm going to make a bell shape. I went to do the bell shape at the end of the field like I was turning the other way. Ah. Whoop. So yeah, missed a smidge, a little bit of a smidge. This end of the field, oh, that way works. That end of the field, eight cells north. We've got to turn the other way. I'm in the trusty 6610. I literally have never ever driven this before. Not on the field, not properly. I've never done, I've never done rolling before. Oh shoot! Oh, didn't hit the telegraph pole. Thank God for all that. Yeah, well, this is going to take some use to get used to, isn't it? <laughs> oh no! It's a lot. It's a lot wider out the back than a cultivator. Uh, luckily the telegraph pole and me did not say hi. Oh well, no one will ever know. No one will ever know. What a lovely little job! Just out here down up down. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, I've come to understand, is due to promote growth in the wheat. It helps get rid of any bugs and that's all I know. But I've just got to keep an eye on the rolls. Daniel said you'll know if it gets too claggy because the, the rolls will start flicking dirt everywhere. But so far, so good. Clanky. Clanky, clanky. Right, you in? Good friends? No. I said you were in. Right, 
right, so sat nav and me aren't friends yet. It's fine. I do find the sat nav takes a little bit of time to just get used to. This is like a weird button on the side of the steering wheel. You always have to like... <laughs> dickhead. Dickhead, 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 dickhead. We'll see if we can catch it, mole. I'm no use. I'm no mole catcher, Mark. Give me all of his stuff. He's obviously got a dibber. To try and find where the run is. It must be there somewhere. You gotta try and find the run, ain't where it is. Come on, Daniel, you can find a mole. <laughs> I'm well happy about that. Right, I found my first mole run. Look at that, look. There's a hole, there's a hole. Where there's a hole, there's always a mole. So now we'll just get the trap and try not to get our fingers caught in it. Oh, come on. Try not to get myself caught in it. We'll see how we get on. Money, money, money. Oh, it's not big enough. God dang it. <laughs> then mole's gonna get it. Mark's giving me these handy dandy little flags as well. Right. Right, leave that at that for now. See if we can't catch us a mole. Hello, Fenlanders. So, blown the tyre up on the uh, on the John Deere loader. The only thing I got left to do on this, not, it looks a bit odd <laughs> being red, but I like red anyway. I haven't got no black paint, so red it is. Woohoo! Just put these pipes back together, and I think we're nearly there. Let's get these all um, buttoned down, nipped up, and then we can put it on and give it a whirl. It, it, it is mega heavy, this thing, so I would um, quite happily sell it, I think, for a, another muck grab. Mm. Got my Imperial adjustable today, but that's what I got, that's what it's gonna be. Hey, and both these pipes wanna be around this way, like so. Oh, wrong way, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Give them a little twerk. Uh, right, pipes all in, all on. Yeah, Grumpy Granddad's done a good job of this. Uh, we were without gas for a little while. So he was out here with a grinder and it was just taking ages. And it, we had some like propane stuff, but it wasn't propane. It was like a next step on from propane, but not acetylene. And uh, we really did not get on with that. So I was like, just bite the bullet, Dad, and go and get the stuff you want, you know? At least it, um, we're always used to cutting and, and um, cutting and, and stuff with the um, oxycetylene. We both know how to use it properly and you get far better results we did. So we uh, got rid of that propane substitute, whatever it was, and got ourselves some oxycetylene and got, got on. Dad, Dad had it off in about 10 minutes. He spent all day with a grinder. Just chiseling away at the bits and pieces. So, yeah, Papa jam, boom. There we go, job done. Well, I don't know what we're gonna do with these bits just yet. Leave them alone, I think. Dad said, oh, leave them there until we know how strong it is. If it starts cracking around here or up here or anything, we'll, we'll see it straight away, you know, and, uh, and we'll brace the bucket up accordingly. They see me rolling, behaving. I just wanted to show you guys um, what is going on with this field. I think Daniel just been and re-drilled this. I have no idea though. I could be wrong. However, look at how big of a patch. Like this was all drilled at the same time. How big of a patch that was lost when we had that and what I've just been through as well. When we had all that water. Yeah, first out into the little bucket then. Ooh, doors opening. Ooh. Chainsaw. Ah oh, well, we'll get there. I have noticed one uh, issue with it. When you uh, lift right up, it, it hits the front of the loader. So try not to uh, tilt it right back, crowd it right back when we're doing stuff. We'll just get all these big chunks of uh, stuff in the bucket. Some awesome man has already been along and chopped them in half. I have no idea who that was. Uh, yeah, so Anna's out there, she's rolling. I'll have a look and see what the rolls look like when she comes back past. I managed to get some sky pool drilled in there the other day. So, everything's coming together. Uh, 
It's gonna be heavy. Ah. Rolling good. Got a bit of an overlap going on, but yeah, she's doing good. The good thing with Anna being out here is I can leave her doing like five mile an hour instead of uh, trying to get it done, you know, trying to rush to get the stuff done. Good little bucket. Um, turn around on here, I'll let Anna roll that in. Yeah, me and Grumpy Grand are not always in a rush, but I think about five mile an hour is about right for rolling wheat in. Some of you may go a bit harder depending on how flat the field is. Some of you may go a bit slower depending on how cloddy it is and how many stones you're trying to bury under. So everyone's different. I like to stick about five and a half, five, but Anna can learn. Hopefully Anna can get everything rolled this week. That's another job ticked off the list. Right, Fernandez, I don't know if you can see that, okay. There we go. Hey, there's my rolls. So I've got a set of rolls in there. Just gonna, ah, uh, oh, one minute. Current bid, four and a half thousand. That's my drill that's in there. It's not selling, I don't think. Doesn't look like it's gonna get another bid on it, so. What else have I got in here? A couple of irrigation pumps in here. By the time you watch this, it'll all have ended anyway, so. I can't keep no secrets. Obviously, you know, I froze one of our pump sets and the engine split, so there's some pump sets in here we'll just keep an eye on. I'd like one of these um, spreader bale things. They look mega, but I don't know who's got a spreader bale. Are they any good on wet top bales? Are they any good on wet top bales? If they are, then it might be worth um, buying one, maybe. I don't know. What's that? I'm filming. So, keep an eye on our Facebook page, guys, and anything that doesn't sell in here, I'll just um, put it up for sale on, on Facebook. Okay. See how we get on. 
camera. Still talking to the camera, yeah. <laughs> Bro crop, 75 quid. Bobo, you're a good boy. So, um, Daniel told me to go through this bit. I wasn't sure whether I should or not. He was like, yeah, if, if it'll go through, do it. I was just going to say, I really like how the field looks after you've been rolling it. It looks really pretty, I think. Very neat and organised. Maybe that's why I like it. I may have accidentally broken the radio. Yeah. I don't know what I've done, but I went to, um, to try and change it and it, it just literally like popped out. So, yeah. If anyone asks, it was Daniel, okay? Um, he's just come round with the drone. And I'm always a bit like, I am not doing what I'm supposed to be doing when, when he comes round. I was on the phone, I think, trying to book my dog into the vet. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh, should be looking, should be looking, should be doing what I'm told. So uh, yeah, he's so much better on the drone than I am. What's everyone up to over Easter? Um, I'm hoping on Friday I can have some, like the family over, however, I don't know whether Dad and Daniel are awake or not. And then, of course, it is hard to turn for two weeks. I don't know what we're going to do with filming, so bear with us on that one. Yeah. What's everyone up to for the bank holiday? Let me know. Got any plans? If it's nice, like today, it's like sunny. It's sunny and just a little bit of wind out. It's just so nice. Get some Andy back. Definitely needs to get in here and clean. Look at under here. <laughs> Why should I do that? Yeah, next day when I'm free, it's getting beasted. Beast mode, it is gross. And I've cleaned it a bit. I came in here with the hoover and just kind of like hoovered around these, um, around the components and the gears and stuff. I do understand it's never gonna stay clean, I know that, but I just think you can have like a nice base level that, you know, it's kind of start off okay and then just give it a bit of a once over every now and then. So I do feel like today has kind of been one of those days where Daniel could have done with about 10 people on the farm to get everything done. He's, um, maybe he's not showing it on video, I don't know, I haven't seen the footage yet, but he is like stressing. You know, you can tell he's like, I've got this to do, I've got that to do, I've got this to do, I've got that to do. I'm like, right, you can only do one thing at a time. And then I'm like, have you done some filming? Can you get the drone up? Can you do this? Can you do that? I think he quite enjoys doing the filming side of it anyway, so it's kind of like the fun part of the day. I'm nearly done, guys. So I thought I'd just use this opportunity to say thank you so much for watching our video. And um, as you all know, we're just so appreciative of every single one of you. Love chat with you guys. I've just noticed such a big difference in Dad and Daniel with their like, they seem more like upbeat to to be here when they know that they're gonna have like you guys chatting to them. Does that make sense? Like, I know obviously it can be very lonely farming, but. Righto, Fennan, there's a little bit of everything going on today. Uh, Hannah's out there with the rolls. Um, yeah. I'm trying to do some spraying, but as you can hear, it's well windy out here now for spraying. So, Grumpy Granddad's just sitting there watching the auction go through, the Brown & Co auction. Hopefully, later tonight, I'll start a new video and we'll get some spraying done. Uh, we're going to have some potatoes to do tomorrow, I think. So, we'll all get all hands on deck and get that job done. And then, we'll get the Anna back on the rolls uh, while she's here. And... Uh, yeah, hopefully, I was hoping to get her on the um, the Verdestat carrier just to move the fields around again. As you can see out there, the fields are soaking wet underneath. They may look dry on top, but underneath they're so saturated. Any more rain we have. But I think we're going to have a couple of weeks of um, windy... We're definitely going to have a windy week this, this week. So if you liked today's video, guys, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps push us forward. Helps keep me motivated. I'm going to brush my teeth and go off to the dentist. Yay! Cheers, Fernandez.